fan, the collector's diary. Today we're going to take a look at some of the bits and pieces that I've bought. So let's crack on and see what we've been buying. First off is a bazooka. Now I presume this is the bullet goes with it, I'm not 100% sure. Let's put that down on the table. We'll have a look in the book and see if we can find afterwards who that belongs to. Secondly, got these bits on the table, let's have a look at these. This is the snowboarder, it's slightly damaged as you can see, but there's a couple of quid along with what I believe are the snowboarder's boots. Not 100% sure, but we'll check that out. Also, within that bundle came the mountain biker's face mask. I've got him in the box, it looks like he's been opened. And in the box, I don't think this is actually in there. So this was a bit of a bonus. Next purchase is some Grenadier Guard uniforms. Right, quickly jump in here. I want to say that I bought these with the idea of making a 24 foot uniform. It looks like someone's tried to wash it and it's bled. Here's a later one. You can just tell by the material. But that's got ink all over it. This, I believe, is a copy. It won't be a problem for me because it can be my prototype. I'm going to mess around with it and try and modify it because the 24 foot, I think the Welsh guards, were they? They had bottle green around the top, I believe. Don't know my history. We're going to be looking at that. Varying degrees of quality. Trousers, pair that's slightly faded, more orange stripes than red. These ones look okay. No labels, so I've ordered from a guy who does some great work. He did this for me, this flock berry. I'll put that up here. You, you all know him probably if you're in the community. So he's gonna make me the piff helmet. He's also selling me um, some of the water bottles, the belt buckle that they would have worn back then. So I'm gonna have a go at trying to make some webbing. I might have a go with my old silicon sealant trick like I did with the bandoliers, but making the cast will be an issue because I haven't got anything to copy at the moment. Right, let's move along. So this is for Action Fan. We've got a 40th entrenching tool for Action Fan because he's wearing the combat soldier uniform, as you can see. Let's just show you at the back. We've got this great M1 carbine that I got from Van Man with a folding stock. Made of metal, so quite heavy. It's really cool. Something I think maybe a paratrooper would have had because it'd be easier for the paratroopers to carry that as they're parachuting. And then once they hit the ground, they actually got a stock on it as well. So really cool. Looks great. I will say the barrel is easy to bend. So be careful with that. But otherwise it's great. Right, so there's the back of action fan. I'm going to be using this to replace this bright green sleeping bag and the entrenching tool i believe would fit in there we'll have a look in the pictures and we'll work on that for action fan this does make action fan very top heavy I, I will look this up but you guys might be able to tell me these hooks on the front of the backpack they've got like two straps two hooks does anybody know where they go to i mean my first thought was they're supposed to go down to the belt but they're really not long enough to reach the belt let me know what these are for all right, let's put Action Fan back over there. Right, on a similar theme, we bought some American World War II helmets. I believe this is an original. I believe this is an original. Someone told me they're generally copies when they've got to fix the elastic. So there we go, we've got that. to go with this, bit of a theme going on there. And again, Fantastic one, we're gonna build another GI. We've got a poncho. Now this is a cloth one. It's not the waxy sort of looking one, which I think I've seen in my book. So there we go. Right, next we've got a nice pair of green ovals from the field training exercise, I believe. A little bit of issue with the back end, needs a little bit of sewing. Apart from that, they don't look too bad, not very faded. You need a black beret for this. And unbelievably, I haven't got one at the moment that isn't being used. No badge on it. I don't know if they came with a badge. I believe it just came with standard black boots, black beret, and an SLR. So we've got an SLR from him. We had that in the collection. Fix the barrel on that one. That's the start of that uniform. 
Last but not least, got another Red Devil jumpsuit logo in there, but no badge. Don't know why I bought that, because I've got a few of those. So, we've had quite a successful little hoard there. Let's get in close, show you what we've got. Five tunics and two pairs of Grenadier Guard trousers. We've got our camouflage bazooka with a shell. I have managed to fire this. It's all still working, the spring works. We got our 1990s little collection. We've got our three GI helmets, sleeping bag. We've got the rain poncho, red devil overalls, field training overalls. And we've added in my SLRs with that. So there you go. As the off the shelf videos come to a finish, we've only got two action men left from the original shelf. I'm gonna be starting a new off the shelf series. And the new shelf is in this room. And it's gonna be a shelf where I start to make up uniforms on Action Man, and I'll put them on this shelf to my left. And once we're sort of semi there, I'll bring them down. We'll see what we've got left to get. We'll read from the book and from the internet as what is needed. Don't worry off the shelf fans. The shelf has two more Action Man. This shelf will be a constant flow of Action Man. All right, so here's a sneak preview of the new shelf and the bits and pieces that we'll be working on. As you can see, you've got a GI medic and his patient, the scramble pilot who is nearly complete, looks like he needs a new pair of hands and I believe he needs restringing. Got turbo copter there, we've actually got two of those. I've got the blades to go with them, but they just need new elastic. Once they're nearly complete, then we'll bring them down, look in the book and they will go over there in our cupboards. All right, thanks for joining me and I'll see you soon.